This is a certified hood classic. Sierra didn't like use her hand to wipe or anything, right? And then put her hand on her face. I... Uh, Creed, that is what they call adult acne. Have oh. a heart, my friend. Oh, well, don't I feel like an a hole? All rise, order in the court. Let's all take a uh, seat like Don L up there with his uh, very nice outfit that he's got on. We're going to learn a lot about him. Oh? As far as his relaxing habits. Oh, all right. He, he's super cash during this entire time. I don't know if we'll hear from him. I don't know. I haven't watched any of this, but he, he t- I've noticed uh, this couple of things I did see. He was very casual, very laid back, so mm-hmm. to say. So, uh, yeah, he is not sweating anything. I wonder if he's waiting for DoorDash or something. See how he's got the door open and he's sitting right there on the arm of the couch? That's true. Yeah, like patiently waiting for something good to uh, come to the door uh, in his overalls, which are great. And you'll want a yabba dabba do down there. Looks like a good crowd. Great, good crowd so far from just looking at the, what we got here. But, uh, yeah, we're going to learn about some PPOs, TPO, restraining order. What do you want to call it? from where you're from that's what we're going to be handling today because it is tpo tuesday Tuesday. likely to be points of disagreement i expect that and you should too all right so we'll get started here so um can i have the two of you raise your right hand please and do both of you uh swear that the testimony you give in this case will be oh yeah thoughts and prayers to uh everybody with that that bridge collapse was that was crazy. I just watched a video. Uh, Sue, oh who's over gosh. on a jackpot channel, uh, she just posted a, the thing where, so I saw where the first power uh, went out, and then they recovered, and it did it twice before they uh, they hit the bridge. But man, can you believe that? The, the way That's it went sad. down, the way it just like so fast. I mean, it took the took the the right out. I mean, I that was good God. It was that's one of the scariest things I've seen. And I, I guess I'll get to see some of the I'm sure the cleanup won't be done by the time I get there next month. I mean, I'm going to be there on the 12th. Yeah, that's true. Uh, hopefully, I would imagine uh, probably pieces and parts of that bridge will still be. I don't know. Man, that's just crazy. Yeah. Thank God it happened at night. No kidding. Yeah. Could you imagine, uh, you know, middle of Busy, Russia? Or yeah. You're, you're talking about mass casualties. I'm sure there's yeah. going to be a lot more coming out in the next coming days of people who lost their lives during that. Yeah, but yeah, it didn't look like there was a lot of people on there, but I guess I, I was watching one of the news. Uh, there's construction said, going uh, on. Yeah. And I said, one really good thing is there was uh, they, they were able to stop a lot of traffic from going up uh, into a man. That makes you, makes you double think about driving over bridges, but no, that's, that's absolutely crazy. All right. Back to court. Yeah. Okay. So Mr. Levesen, you are uh, the petitioner in this case and you get to go first so go right ahead okay and i might have to my chihuahua only barks at the worst time so if he starts to bark too loud i'll i'll go put him in what the we did room. already um so just 15. just to let you know i i do suffer from um generalized anxiety so don't we all like this did you notice in the background of the generalized anxiety? Hi, shirtless dad. Quite the uh, assortment of Nerf uh, pew pews back there. And now what those, those are? Those, uh, I can't tell exactly what they are. I think that's what they are. But there is a lot going on back there. Yeah. Including generalized. Some. Generalized, yes. To just one area of her body. Is, this, do you, is that a, like a giant yardstick there? It's for measuring the kids, yeah, man. See how much generalized measurements. Got it. You know, give me great anxiety. So please be um, patient with me as far as me trying to to let you know what's going on. Um, so I've lived at Quartzsite Apartments, uh, which is on the yeah west side of Olympia. I've lived here, moved in in 2018. Um, my, my, I'm a single mother. So my, my, my son was Could be Nerf uh, guns then. four 
Well, he moved in. Okay, so now he's OG. He's nine. Anyway, I, I say that because this is an OG call. I did include him in in the paperwork as a minor. Um, unfortunately, over the last six years of living at courtside, it has been horrific in so many ways. But I won't horrific go into detail on all of those things. Um, however, I do believe I live on the third floor uh, above two of the most um, uh, violent criminals that you could live above. Really? Um, now, I've worked with the police department. Um, there's not really wow. working with the management here. The management doesn't do anything. Hey. But I will try to stay specific as much as I can to to Yoana. Um, basically, you'll want to move I, after you live near her. Yeah. Really? At this point, just need to be left alone, and my son needs to be left alone. That includes her hanging her head out her window um, constantly. I'm saying horrific things that I would not say right now uh, to everyone because they're so offensive to the point where I have, you know, witnesses from my church who come visit me. We're talking delivery people, anybody. You know, I'm on the oh, third, what she said? The second, and it's just okay. constant um, harassing of either me and my son or somebody that's visiting us. And again, that includes horrific language. But what I really want to share with you today, because when it is Joanna's turn to talk, I mean, you know, all you can do in this case it's like he said she said right that's why it took me six years mm. to file this oh I my god with, um um six years um sergeant sergeant henry of the opd and he was the one who who convinced me to finally do restraining order because yeah because it's been six years of this but i i have to add it and then i'm I will be done. <laughs> Are her eyes but, closed? Uh, the first part of it all in the start. I believe so. From the beginning. In a of, generalized of, like, way. Six years ago moving in is for whatever reason. And like I said, she can say whatever she wants when she talks to you. But all I can say is, you know, this is lies. It is the, the worst lie out of all the lies she's ever said to anyone about me is spreading horrible, dangerous, uh, dangerous, um statement uh letting my neighbors in court side who aren't that you know are dangerous anyway letting or telling them that i'm racist and i want to say no from the bottom of my heart okay i grew up I, I did grow up in a educated home i went to college point being like i I don't have a racist bone in my body i did not and, and i say that because it's important because number two i have never uh... but, used the n-word in my entire life i don't even i think that is oh, my so goodness, uh... and now what Joanna has done and i won't go into all the specifics but she uh went to my place of yeah, work did you, did you guys hear the dog i thought bark? that too i thought no that too like, wow, wow, in the background i thought maybe that's Joanna's got so, a dog I, yeah, but her green thing never popped up, though. It's always on uh, mm, Mary. Good call, Green. Uh, Joanna does not strike me as a uh, one of the worst criminals I could ever live above. But, you know, keep an open mind. She, we'll see. Uh, if she doesn't talk with a Russian accent, I'm going to be very upset. Uh, well, especially with a name like that. And um, by the way, who's calling who an N-word? I don't know. And maybe it's other words. You know, like uh, there's uh, you can be racist between, against all races. No, maybe she's so. uh like Hispanic people, or mm -hmm. you know, maybe maybe she's I, I don't know what Joanna is, but she looks white. Bad maybe. lighting, though. Maybe, yeah. I actually think uh, Mary's place looks a little bit better than down below. Is she in a dungeon in the basement, Joanna? Maybe. Well, she is above her on the third floor. Yeah, down below <laughs> got that uh, got that good seat. You can keep an eye on both of the top of their heads. Well, so, chilling. Who, Mary? I, that's just a normal name. It's pretty common, but all right. That's fine. To each his own, right, Courtney? He goes to tell my manager that I, I'm racist and I say the N-word. 
So that was crazy. Oh, just for and fun. And then over the last year or so, she's done it so much that I've gotten just salt. Good to see you, Bigfoot. Because of it. And then... Um, and yeah, salt it. I know this is a separate case, but I just want you to know she is linked with Daryl Cooper. Okay. I know he's not oh, present. Yes, Cole. We just had a discussion about it. Where were you? <laughs> oh, that, okay. Yeah. That was one of the first things we talked about in the first few seconds. Yeah. Did you have us muted? Tell us that you uh, were late without telling us you were late, Cole. <laughs> gotcha. She's brought up the name of Daniel Kukro. I think she is. Kukro? Cuckoo Bananas? She's been assaulted. Oh, and this has been going on six years. Why hasn't she moved? All right. So it's not that she's uh that she's black. Is she so you wanna... the, the the rumors have spread around the complex right. that she's a racist. Uh, allegedly, yeah. Yoana's told of other people, Big Tiff, uh, that uh Mary is is uh is racist. That's a good way to get other no, people not to like her. And and that That's was very point. serious because he, you know, opened the door and said, I'm gonna kill you. I'm going to beat your ass. I'm sorry to swear. Well, which one? Um, and so that's when Officer Hendrickson's like, no, enough, enough. You know, he threatened your life. You need to take a protection order. And then that's when I asked him about Ioana. I said, because Daryl Cooper happens to be an African-American. And um, when Ioana is spreading these lies, whether she believes it's true or not, what I'm telling you, uh, Judge, is very dangerous for where me and my son live. We've gotten told, oh, I hope you fall off the balcony and die. Um, it, it, it's just so scary. At the end of the day, um, I'm going to do my best, you know, to try to move from courtside as it's a very scary place to live. As a single mom with a nine-year-old, my son has seen, and I will end it with this. And this is why I'm scared physically, okay? Uh, emotionally of Joanna McGowan is on September 30th, and I believe it's still an ongoing case. She, there was attempted murder of my neighbor who I shares walls with. I had to take video footage of this because my apartment manager, oh, did you get it on video? Anyway, I have PTSD from what I saw that night. She basically almost bludgeoned this man to death. And I have, yeah, footage oh the cops God. Of me. All it, right, so that Oh that God. all took a turn. I, Ioana might be quite the badass, bludgeoning somebody almost to death. They share walls, I guess, the upstairs neighbor. It's an attempted murder. Why do you say? I, I mean, just the, I mean, I'm going to say this. Ioana's a stone cold killer. She hasn't flinched. She hasn't blinked. She That's hasn't, true. nothing has affected her yeah, at a, all. She is anyway. stone faced. Not anything. I'm scared. I'm huh. scared. All right, it's gonna be interesting to hear uh, yo 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 Wana's uh, side. Uh, Woodbugger, look at you! Thank you for the five, bro. Woodbugger. You know, with a name like Woodbugger, I'd imagine you have uh, you're dressed like uh, Darnell's friend that was waiting for his DoorDash delivery there. Allegedly, allegedly. It was horrific, but the worst part is that my son had to witness it. Just like you know, I'm not gonna talk about the Daryl Cooper stuff right now, but. Just no, 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 no. Joanna said to Mary, I wish that you would fall off the balcony and die. But not That's just it. Joanna. She's got the other neighbors also doing the same thing because she has now labeled Mary as a, a racist. racist. But maybe she's just trying to get rid of witnesses, it seems like. No. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the get, get rid of these witnesses. Of her crimes. Oh, man. All right. Yeah. And uh, going back, circling back to what Mikey said a few minutes ago. Yeah. Six years. Move. I would move in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat, I would move away from this place. I'd go live in a trailer somewhere out in the middle of nowhere before I'd live above a stone cold criminal uh, that, that attempted murder. <laughs> Good like God. What's going on with him? So at the end of the day, all I want, and I, I, know, I know she will get on here and say, Horrible things about me. She she has from the beginning, but I would think she would agree with me when it comes to let like she doesn't. Oh, we man. don't want each other Sorry, in our lives. So Hope things all are better. I want but... is yeah, no, that is, but... alone, not be yelled at out the window, not her harassing you know my friends, my my church and delivery people. Just leave us alone. 
and especially, and I'll end it. Uh, okay. Somebody get that chihuahua. Calm down. All right, it, it, all right. Her green box popped up, so it is Joanna's <laughs> dog. Not all right, confirmed this time. That is not chihuahua. <laughs> There's no doubt. Look at that face. Do not talk to my child. That's my child, and he's scared of this woman. So all I can say is I I have gone back and forth with how I've been treated. So meaning sometimes I'm like, oh, should I, you know, yell back and engage? I don't think that's a good idea. Sometimes I've, you know, had enough and like just want them to leave me alone. But for the most part, I try to just ignore, ignore, ignore. And then it just continues to happen. So anyway, I do think she is a dangerous person. And and I I just I really think the protection order will be necessary. And Officer Henriksen said, you know, yes, she could. That's a shout out to Officer Henderson. Mad by or way. something. But at the end of the day, it protects you because if and when she does harass you uh, verbally, uh, then there's something there, right, on file that I can call and say. Pause, pause that real quick, Cream. What happened? I glanced at my thought we saw Darnell's penis, but really Darnell is sitting down and the guy is still standing by the door. Yeah. Plus I think the, uh, the head of the penis would be the wrong color. I just, Hey, wait, you don't know. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> Easy does it, bud. I'm, um, I'm sure. I think they'd be just fine. Um, really quick. She has gone on and on. Why has no yeah. one been arrested? I mean, I've have, I have, I have not once heard her say so and so was a she was arrested. She was taken into uh, custody for this, that, and the other. Yeah, somebody just uh, said in the chat. I just put it up on a screen about why. I, what about the cops? Like, how many times have we called the cops? We haven't even heard. I, I would imagine a Mary's rang nine one one quite a few times. Oh, quite a few. I'm sure yeah. they know her by name. Uh, K dots. Yeah, she's got. Uh, she started out in the beginning since she's got a little. Uh, did, aggressive what does she say uh, anxiety. generalized anxiety. anxiety anxiety that's what it is um i'm guessing she may or may not be on some meds that's rambling meds and don't forget mary's racist happened um and so anyway that that's it, it was officer henderson who told me who convinced me to do this so um that's all i have to say and then like i said uh whatever she says it's going to be I would love to mute, mute it because I've heard all the lies she said about me and they're horrific. So she's probably going to go ahead and, and do that. She goes say pass. I, it's, like, I, it's like, stop, stop. No you know, comment. You, you're caught. Michael, that is a uh, chain of uh, gas stations here in America. Is what it it's is. What is it, yeah, what is it in Ireland? That's interesting. It's a convenience store. It sure is. And by the way, they have uh, Butterfinger cookies now that they make there. They're, they're good sized cookies. There's like three of them for $2.29. They're very good to chocolate chip, but they made they now have uh, the Butterfingers. It's very, very good. I suggest you try them at your local Circle K. Hashtag not a sponsor. Calling me racist in a, in a neighborhood that is very untold for people to think you're racist. So, um, I, 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 I am. Tell very, us it's a bad neighborhood without telling am, us it's a I bad don't neighborhood. Want to I'm trying to move, but until then, I don't want to be a sitting duck, or I don't want to be scared. And my, my son is so scared, by the way. And just, just the other wouldn't that have been great if uh, Donnell, if that's him that was just sitting there, if he because did you see how he walked over? Uh, it would have been hilarious if he got up and just gave him a giant kiss right on the lips. <laughs> they start making it. Out. I mean, yeah. it almost looks like it. Watch, watch, watch when he gets up and goes I'm over by. Duck, uh, or I don't watch, watch. Scared, and my, my son is so scared by the. See, I kind of. Just the other night, Joanna was standing outside, second thoughts. Like her oh, arms crossed, staring at us, because we were gonna, you know, parallel park, and my son is like, "Shh, shh, 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 shaking, crying, mom, 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 can you, can you please park somewhere else?" Mom, I'm sure mom, your your behavior hasn't helped the situation, ma'am. Until she goes away. So anyway, I just, I just want her to leave us alone, and that's all. All right, Miss McGowan. You killed it, Mary. How are you doing this morning, Your Honor? This um, bitch. Okay. Um, I do not disagree with the protective order. I would actually like one myself. I have reached out to my apartment complex for years 
trying to get Mary's last name. I was told through the HIPAA laws by my manager that she wasn't able to give me that information. I think she does. I wasn't privileged to a fashion to be able to get her last name. I have Mary. been trying to get a protective order against her for years to stop the harassment against me. We were told by our apartment manager to just put take videos of any incidents that were involving her. As a matter of fact, everybody in the community has been doing it. She's actually a, used her First Amendment right to picket the apartment. The apartment manager <laughs> reported that, called the Olympia Police Department to see if there was anything that they could do about her and her derogatory comments on her poster board as she was picketing. I am not a violent person. The case that she's mentioning with Casey, he assaulted me in my house. I defended myself. He has charges that are pressed against him for two assaults. Um, all I want to do is to have a comfortable, peaceful life. I'm not harassing her. I have went through the community and got multiple letters. Pam Butterfield, thank you for the three bones. The gold teeth are really throwing me off here. Yeah, it makes me think like she's an organized crime. I mean, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> but the, the Mary picketing outside generalized anxiety That's interesting. doesn't typically allow you to go out and picket in front of places with a questionable wordage on your signs, I guess. Um, the other Ooh. thing is too, I, I guess they have a community bulletin board or whatever. Oh, well, I think she meant the boards that she was carrying, like dun, 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 oh, dun, maybe that dun, uh, the derogatory, yeah, uh, on the poster board, or she's on like a poster board. <laughs> uh, probably more than Creed, I would imagine. Oh, yeah, voice like an angel. Letters of witnesses that see her kicking my door to set my dogs off on purpose. The security guard that she mentioned in her paperwork, I have a video of her cursing and screaming at him because she wanted him to tell me to close my window in the summer and it was hot. Um, me sticking my head out the window is not yeah, to harass. I, I think you're right, Ragu. I think uh, there's a good chance that uh, she's had a few prison wives or two. By the way, um, I was watching some stuff about I, crazy what they're doing down in Miami, Ragu, about uh, spring break, kicking everybody out. $100, uh, like like just in the parking garages downtown. $100. Hell yeah. Park <laughs> just so people won't come. Uh, you know, signs everywhere for uh no parking and stuff. They don't want they don't want the uh the spring breakers around. The revelers. Crazy. Anyways, yes. It's to stick my head out the window and get some fresh air. Well, I'm smoking. Um, by no means am I trying yeah. to harass this woman. I am totally in agreement with the protective yeah. order. I would just like it to be a two-way street so that she doesn't her medical records. and feel as though she can continue to harass me and try to put me in a position to be in trouble. The last thing I want is to have any legal difficulties. Mm -hmm. And so I would appreciate if this protective order- I'm on probation, it, baby. Both ways. So she can no longer contact me, harass me, or make her derogatory remarks regarding me and my household. I'm also a single mother. And it was just three weeks ago, Your Honor, she was outside saying, well, that's why your daughter got murdered, trying to instate some kind of reaction in me so that she could get what she wanted. Do your thing, Andrew. Which was a, a reaction. And that's what I'm not giving her. And that's upset her even more, I think. But I don't appreciate being persecuted and falsely accused of heinous crimes and called a convict and a criminal. Mm. And regardless of how she feels about this community, I live here. And I, I enjoy my life here. And I don't think it's such a bad neighborhood. She likes it there. Well, at least she didn't go on for half an hour. Thank goodness. Did Mary just leave? And if need be, Your Honor, oh, I do have out. these letters and video evidence that I could bring to the court. I was wanting to come to the courthouse today for this hearing, but I saw in the paperwork it said I just needed to do the Zoom. 
but I'm more than willing to bring whatever I have to your honor so that I could also get a protective order. Okay. Then um, what I am going to do is I'm going to, I am going to grant the order and uh, Ms. McGowan, um, if you Great. would like to petition for your own order, you're certainly uh, welcome to do that. She got it. Thank you, Your Honor, because now I have her last name. That was all that I needed to be able to file myself. So, yes. Oh. Yeah, you said it. You can. You Not can over yet. The court I'm, file I'm guessing that uh, Mary did that on purpose. Like, she didn't want oh, to. She's around. Around. She said she's like, I, yeah, I would like to mute because I don't want to hear anything she has to say. I've heard it all before. Uh now I've never used Zoom like Rick has. I, I would imagine if you take yourself off of the live screen, you could still hear what's going on and see oh, what's absolutely. going on. Absolutely, yeah. Confirmed by Rick. So I guess I guess he knows that she's still there. Can they still continue without her there? Is what I'm saying. I mean, if like she on screen went out, out. If she went out, out. I would think that it would be over. Stop. Right. Well, we've heard both sides. She got oh, it. You, it's granted. You know, so uh, where the courthouse is and the court clerks will take that from you. But for now, I'm going to issue the order that uh, Ms. Gilvezen's requested. And That's that, it. Uh, it's going to extend for the next New year, picture, March 25th of 2025. It's the same terms and conditions as the original order. Okay. And your honor, and um, I just have one favor to ask, please, sir. Could you let her know that this order does not give her permission to harass me? Okay, well, I, I think she just heard you. Okay, it, that that's what I really wanted her to know. This protection order works two ways. It just I want it, but that doesn't allow you to harass me or to try to put me in a position to get in trouble because you can't speak to me either. That means you can't be within a hundred feet of me. She's either. talking to her right now. This. Yeah, Miss Miss uh, McGowan, I think you probably need to save that for your own case. Yes. Yes. So, um, we haven't heard the last of these two. Yes. For today, Ms. McGowan. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Sweet neck tap. And then and is there a time? Of, I, what's that? She does have a and neck tap, a time right? For me mm -hmm. to get the paper, my nope. stuff together. Such a boy. Thank that, you for the two. You can do that anytime you want. The courthouse is open every day. Okay. Every day. Really, every day, Judge? Monday Friday, Judge. Judge just thinks they're a meal. If you're a mini mic, oh, he's going. To... Yes, I am. Okay, just uh, extending the uh, Mary's back since he was served and has not appeared. And sorry, you, you cut out real quick. Um, Welcome back, Mary. Daryl. Yeah, that's right. Okay. There's a he, there's proof of service here, and he hasn't <laughs> responded to that. So I'm going to extend the uh, order that Thank was previously you, issued for a year. Awesome. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And she got one on Daryl. Daryl didn't show up. Damn it, Daryl! Oh, I just heard a chirp too. That's the first chirp I've heard at Mary's house. I think maybe Angel it just died. Home. You got angel eyes. Neck tattoo. Classy. Um, another one with the... Uh, <coughs> oh, that's a good cough. Uh, another one that uh, not a not a whole lot there as far hand as tats, wise, tons, but Tons of hand tats too. Great. But still, I guess... Uh, still got it. Yeah, she is. Yeah, her whole hand's covered, isn't it? Okay. Thank you both. Thank you. Hey, hey Robert. Tori, are next. we allowed to leave now? Go to. Okay, thank you. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so the next Bond villain. Go to. Donnell Armstrong. Donnell. Spins here in the courtroom. This is case 24 7. Oh, no. Uh, his pen, you go ahead and have a seat right Love now. this judge. He moves quick. Mr. Armstrong is he here does. with us uh, on Zoom. Okay, just bringing up my 
electronic court file here. Okay, are both of you ready to go ahead with this case? Yes, Your Honor. So yes. Armstrong, you ready to? Okay. Yeah. All right. Can I have you both raise your right hands, please? And do you both? Swear I swear that, that I'll never buy this, this shit case? water behind me oh, called Nestle's Pure book. Life that's yes, just tap water. Yes. All right. Thank ever you. again. Okay. Same um, procedure as before. Uh, Miss Penn, you get to lovers or neighbors. Uh, Keep in mind that uh, everything that you previously filed in this case is already part of the record. And Let it live. Okay. Okay. So go right ahead. Um, we were in a relationship. There was Love a history of domestic violence. I was out of the country <laughs> and on my way traveling home. And he was just blowing up my phone with threatening messages saying if my house wasn't connected to someone else, he was going to burn it down. He reached out and harassed my neighbors. I, I don't feel safe. There is a history of domestic violence, a of pretty a, extensive record of a neighbor of that. dispute. Can I ask you um, the in your petition you were no they were lovers violence orders are any of those orders still in effect? No, um, um, no, because I stupid I was stupid. I came back and was like, oh, I don't need it, and mm -hmm. then it would happen again and. He would say, oh, oh, all right. So he up. reached out to neighbors is what she's saying about things. All right. So she had been out of the country. It was one of the okay. first things she had said. They had been in a relationship, had been domestic violence. -y. And um, he said he would burn down her house if it wasn't connected to somebody else's. Like, you know, like at, least he's not yeah, he's, at least he cares yeah. about other people, just not her. And uh, now. He has uh, gone out and was contacting neighbors and things, trying, I guess, trying to get the nine one one on her or the four one one or the six three nine. Right on time, Susie. All right, I'm caught up now. I know what's going on. And again, no so, I, I mean, I have photos of bruises okay. all over. He's destroyed my great grandmother's dining table. It, it's just, <clears throat> it's not what? for me. And I'm sorry, I blacked out for a second. We have no ties whatsoever. That's a nice way to say they don't have no kids. You want to say in addition to what you've already Boy, he's got a told me in writing. Smug a whole look on his face, though. Not that he? I could think of. Very casual, like I said. Yeah, but he's got Mr. that look like, yeah, I won. Yes, Your Honor. What would you like to tell me? Okay. I didn't just ruin her grandma's table, if you know what I mean, Judge. She's contacted me about getting uh, the divorce finalized. Okay. And she, he I didn't say they were married. He says, uh, give me $200 so that way uh, you, you can go half with me and, um, and I'll get the, uh, I'll, I'll file the divorce. I said, okay. Oh, Your Honor, I had no idea that she was going out of town. I had no idea. Okay. And I, I, to my better judgment, you know, I, I gave her the benefit of the doubt, you know, and, and, and gave her the money. I sent her the money. And I say probably about two or three weeks, four weeks went past. And, um, and she never did anything. She never, you know, and come to find out she went out of town, you know, and I'm pretty sure she used the money to, to, uh, to do whatever, you know, and, and she wasn't living up to her word on that. And, um, not only that, you know, uh, uh, we had, I had purchased a car from her. Okay? I gave her $4,600 for this car. And um, and it was a verbal agreement. Of course, she has a ledger of you know I paid her money for this car, you know, and I used the car faithfully. Uh, <clears throat> and so something told me to go out there that day, and I went out there and and I went to the courthouse to see if she was she had filed for the divorce and she and, and two hundred dollars didn't get her far, and. I mean, I went past her house. I text the uh, neighbor. You know, we were we're still pretty cool, you know. And um, and I just asked him about the car. 
That was that no, was I, it. 40, 4,600, I think, is what was said. Not much better than 600, but 4,600, yes. I thought that's what he said. As far as me threatening her. Possible. Um, I will never hurt her or any of her family, okay? First and foremost. Um, I was upset. Um, um, granted, you know, I, I shouldn't have done that. And I apologize to to her, and I I uh, actually I apologize that same time in frame, you know, uh, when I when I sent those messages. Uh, anyway, Your Honor, um, I just you know I'm killing it, Darnell. I'm just overwhelmed with you know uh, uh, the fact that. You know, I do. I have bent over backwards for her, and um, and I, I'm just trying to move on, man. The old guy. Um, it, you know, it, unlike other cases I've heard today, there's there's prior history here between these two parties, and I have seen because I can check the records. Uh, I, I've yeah. seen that there have been prior criminal cases, there have been prior domestic violence orders uh, issued in, this, in those cases. Um, I've reviewed, of course, the petition that Ms. Penn filed and the allegations that are in there regarding the threats of harm, which some of which she recounts here today. Um, I find that, that those allegations are credible. Uh, I think a reasonable person in this arm in, in this tens position real quick. Where gives this determination? All right. Was he giving her two hundred dollars so she could get divorced from somebody else? Uh I thought that was for the car. No, we gave her two hundred dollars. Yeah. File for divorce, but they weren't married. That's the first thing she, she said. They were in a relationship. Right. His last Not name is married. Armstrong and she's Miss Penn. Yeah. Over here. My so girl. Was she leaving? Was she getting out of another marriage while she was dating him? That's interesting. Entirely and then he bought awesome. a car from her. Why would he be yeah. buying a car from her if they were married? That's right. a marital asset. He wouldn't be buying it from her. They went, right. They're not even divorced. So there's another part somewhere where I guess we're not hearing it. Uh, maybe maybe Mystic uh, got it though. Two fifty for like a filing fee for court for the divorce, maybe or for. I'd be like, you paying for that yourself? All right, he didn't really even say. It. Threatened by those statements, uh, especially given the overall history that is described by by Miss Penn and the history that's uh, on record here in the court system. Um, those. Acts those threats to do harm to harm the property of Ms. Penn are themselves acts of domestic violence. Uh, I'm finding by preponderance of the evidence based on the testimony here today that they occurred mm. and they provide a basis for uh, issuing the order that Ms. Penn is requesting. And I don't so know. We didn't get a lot that. of the facts there. I he's the looking at a lot of stuff we can't see uh, yeah. for a period of two years. Two years. That's pretty long. I don't think Donnell is very happy about that. Where's Donnell taking us? Uh, come on, bathroom. <laughs> come on, number two. He's going to a warehouse right now. He's getting in the car. Going, nah, nah, nah. Start driving over there for the ink dries. Gonna burn that place down. Two beautiful months, Chris. We're outside. We're going to smoke them if we got them. He needs some fresh. Oh, he's thinking. Mm. Yeah, he is. He is not happy. No. He is pretty pissed. No. Yeah. I know, I know we always say this and always remind you, but the judge sees a lot more than we do. Mm -hmm. And has a very, has a much better idea of the situation. Um, yeah, he's already got a grasp of the case before he even starts. Oh, Mar, Mar, hope you're doing well. Green, green. eye shade, nice. 
right, this domestic violence protection order is in effect for the next two years from today's date, March 25th, 2026. Uh, the court clerk will file that today and you'll both have access to that order. So I can get copies. You can get a copy right now oh, since you're here. Thank yeah. you, Your Honor. It'll be filed electronically and Mr. Armstrong can get that uh, from the court clerk anytime. Five, we got a case channel. Thank you, Mayor. We'll see you Wednesday at 5 30 East for uh, members only. For we have a case channel. Hey, he's looking at me. Yeah, Calm down, Mr. Armstrong. He's mean mugging us. Jersey girl, welcome to the fam. Making great choices today. Well done, Jersey girl. Man, he's still staring. Yeah, I, 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 yeah he's. Uh, I don't, I don't think I'd want to piss him off. No, I am definitely not getting on his bad It's side. almost like he's looking for somebody to like to walk by the house and go beat the shit out of him or something it's for his rage. He's, then, he's plotting. He, um, Shannon Roden. Why is he still here? Sarah Yeager. Is that it? Meister. And yes, Mr. Armstrong, you're good to go, sir. Oh. Mikey, Mikey. You're Shannon? Yeah. Okay. Rainy London, England. Is, uh, Do you own a London fog jacket? Or I had to ask. Is that a thing? Prerequisite. Hey, whoa. Okay. Yeah. She's got a look. Right. Mark and Mark and five. Thank you. Started here in just a second. Buy us lunch today. Appreciate that. Uncomfortable silence now. Everything just got so quiet. I can't wait to see everybody for Taco okay, so Tuesday. So in this and case, Ms. Uh, Roden has petitioned for an anti-harassment order uh, against Ms. Yeager. Uh, I'm going to swear both of you in, and then uh, Ms. Roden, you can start. So for uh, both of you, raise your right hand, please. And do I didn't you get a good, both good look. swear that the testimony you give in this case will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. They both have great looks. And this yeah. Thank they you. dyed their hair together at some okay, point. Okay, so Ms. Uh, Roden, uh, you get to go first. Wait, didn't we see them in the, the coleslaw wrestling, I think? In, uh, I'm pretty Daytona sure. Bay? Maybe. But Miss Yoder has just poked her head out from under the blankets. She was yes, sleeping during yeah. court. Great. Yeah, like she's been in a cocoon. Okay, um, her dad has been uh, for like almost 40 years. And I moved in about going on four years ago. Out in Dakota with him, my boyfriend take, tells him to take care of dad and until he passed away. We've been out there almost four years and we haven't had any problems whatsoever. About six months ago, Ron went to Oregon, which is her dad. He went to Oregon to see his um, baby's mama and for the weekend or whatnot. And he did a he had a stroke while he was up there or so. Oh my god. And I ended up having to get a ride up to Oregon so that I could drive him home because he couldn't get home himself. And since then, his his memory's been really bad. He's dizzy all the time. He didn't go back and forth to the doctors and stuff. But like he's got some dementia or something coming on. So the last six months is and it's slowly getting worse as for remembering stuff and you know what we talk about paying bills and stuff like that. Well, Sierra. Mm -hmm. She hasn't been around. She just ain't. Mm -hmm. been allowed to go out there. Mm -hmm. So I call my name because she steals it from out there. It's been years. After Dad died, she didn't even come out there after her granddad died. Stealing shit. She showed up a couple months ago. She shows up about the first. Her dad gets paid, whatnot. They do whatever. It's not my business. Okay, I don't care. But I had been babysitting for my son for the last month and a half because he's been having some problems with his wife so i've been over there and i come don't we all been at the house much I come home maybe twice a week or something and uh i had just seen some of my stuff hanging out of her out of her bag in the kitchen so i told you i you read it i folded it up and i put it on the table she you know let her that way she could see i had found it oh. and then the next morning and she put it in a bag and she took it out to her vehicle if she hadn't have done that I would have never even went out to her vehicle and I would have never found all the other stuff that was in there. Mayor, first of all, Mayor, thank you. Fan of the year 2024. Five uh, gifted memberships. That's a whole beautiful month. 
to the main channel. Five people are really, really just enjoying the leisureness and the affordability of a free membership. Uh, so let's get this straight. Yeah. Old girl laying in bed, Miss Yoger over here, uh, Jaeger, whatever. She's just, you know, kick back. Stealing this lady's clothes, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. And uh, the theft has uh, escalated to something else, I'm guessing, because she had removed the item she had stolen, taken it to her car. <laughs> Hope it wasn't underwear. Sounds like it's getting spicy. My, I have to move anyway. When Ron moved me out there, it was he told me I wasn't going to have to move again. But because of the way things are going and whatnot, I realize that I have to move. But we live paycheck to paycheck. He works nights. He's been working on trucks. He's got motors pulled out there. We have animals out there. We don't even have the money to move, let alone somewhere to move to. So it's going to take time. And I just don't think that her being there with as much stuff that I took out of her vehicle that was mine, it was ridiculous. She's just helping you move. On me that she's had all this time to just randomly go through everything in the house. It didn't dawn on me until we got into her truck. Now, a couple of days before this, her dad had asked asked me about a can of copper that was in his room. I quit going in his room months ago. Can of copper in his room. I don't Jen, know Jen, do you own a can of copper? Because I, I is that know. what she calls like a can of pennies? Go Man. grab Grandpa the can of copper. Can of copper. Or, or anything, because it, it is just, his memory is just so bad that it's always issues. There's always some issue with it. He doesn't believe anything we say anymore. He doesn't, he doesn't feel right because he knows that he's dizzy all the time and they can't find out what's wrong with him. And I get all that. But the way that he's changed and changed, the way he treats me, he's been my best friend for almost 35 years. I mean, minus all the stuff that she took, I, I'm losing my best friend over this. You know what I mean? And I just don't think that having to live with her and be there while I'm trying to, I have to leave people at the house because I'm scared to leave my leave the house without somebody being there. Um, I take care of people for a living. I have a gentleman that I take care of. I have having out there. She's been rude. She's disgusting. She doesn't clean up. We laid new carpet. Her dog peed all over it. Ooh. All right, let me uh, ask you a couple questions here. Is is Miss Yeager living there now? No. She had been. He she'd been there for a couple weeks until so she left. But yeah. She, so she's living elsewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's been. Yeah, she's been homeless or living out wherever. So you basically don't want her coming around because not while I'm there. Home is wherever she can spread her legs. I mean, lay her head. Not while I'm there, I mean, she. I mean, she. I got one thing back, and that was because somebody had seen it in my house, and she had had it in town, mm -hmm. and I, they gave it back to my kid and brought it back to me, and that's because she thought it was Jade, and it's actually just a, a green stone, but they're two dragons that I had in my entertainment center. Well, she took one because she thought it was two, Jade. Two. He, he brought it back to me. Right. Back to me. That's the only thing that I've gotten back. She took, she came in and took the Xbox. I'm missing a laptop. I mean, it's 85 inch 4K TV. Here from Miss Yeager, and I'll sure. make a decision. She thought they were Jane right. Dragons Yeager? worth over a quarter million dollars. Hello, Houston. We don't have a problem. Yeah. Like tell me your side of it, Houston. Um, I've been out there for more than just a couple of weeks. I've been out there for a couple of months, actually. And my Aunt Bonnie's the one that put me out there because my dad had a stroke. Um, Aunt Bonnie. And I shouldn't be on the streets. The only reason why I haven't even been there is because I got served these papers. And I got, you know, told that I couldn't even be at home. You know, the last 10 days, I haven't even known if my dad's even gotten his medication or gotten fed. Um, they cooked in front of my dad ate the pizza in front of my dad didn't even offer him anything to eat my truck has been stolen they have not I have not, not the pizza retrieval. um my mom has actually literally um uh actually uh reported it stolen um with the olympia police department and the uh, uh the um Tenino police department and it has not been retrieved so they either sold it for drugs or 
got rid of it in some way or another because that's what they do. <laughs> um, <laughs> my dog, um, she doesn't, she, you know, she's just a baby. Um, their dog has literally bit me. Um, I have this scar right here to, to even prove it. Um, I have paperwork with the hospital in Centralia. Um, their dog has also bitten my fa my father and my uncle that have lives outside outside the house. Um, it's where my uncle doesn't even come inside the house anymore. Like my dad doesn't my dad doesn't get why my uncle doesn't come in the house other than the dog. Um, yeah, his memory is a little bit messed up, but he drives himself back and forth to my aunt Bonnie's and back home every weekend. So there is nothing wrong with his memory that bad. That bad. That bad. All I know is that every time that I would come home, her daughter in law, Kimmy, would be stealing my shit. The shit that I did get. Watch the language um, we're in I court. Got from her daughter in law is stuffed. Okay. And if any of her stuff was in there, then she needs to talk to Kimmy about it. Okay. I am the only one that fucking took from Kimmy. I didn't take oh. from her personally. And if I did, I would have given it back. Boy, he, uh, he's been awfully chill at her, uh, I guess yeah. under the, it's, almost it's, like it's a bit of gas. colorful language here in the courtroom. I mean, we got two shits and a fuck in there, so it's true. Yeah, I apologize for the language, guys. So sorry. We're in we're in court here. Spot. Uh, Good. But to see she it. broke into my truck and then stole it and then fucking I don't even know oh, where that's, it's at. So that's true. you got you've got to watch your language. That's not appropriate court language. Sorry. Is that the, the that was not a sound dog? effect? That was uh, the vicious dog, the chihuahua. Oh, the one that okay, pisses so on things, not, right? You're not living in the same place as Miss Rodent. No, I was rodent since I got served those papers. I haven't been able to be at home, oh, and they were out to leave because of the dog. My dad has to have a in home caregiver, and they can't be there. Why? Because you two can't take care of it. Dangerous they are. Is that a paddle on the wall behind her? I think it <laughs> looks yep. like it. That's what happens when you're bad. And initially, when this case was filed, I didn't issue an order. I was concerned that there were reasons not to do that. Um, I guess maybe two basic reasons. One is that I didn't think the petition really alleged harassment. I think that the petition alleges another kind of conflict between the parties that has more to do with who's going to be responsible or who's going to have access to dad, who's going to have access to personal property. And, um, you know, the, the, the court in an anti harassment case can't, uh, make those kind of decisions. Well, that kind adds of fortunes worth tens of so thousands I, I of dollars. I didn't find then when this petition was filed and I, and I still don't find now that there's harassment going on. There's a different kind of conflict going on, but it's not a harassment issue. So there's nothing that the court can do or order that's gonna that would be appropriate here. Um, any dispute that you have over, you know, who's allowed to have access to dad or who's allowed to have access to property, um, who gets what, those sorts of things have to be resolved in a different way. They can't be resolved like this. So uh, uh, what were, who was that? Who was that? Who's never granted there? There will. What not I be missed? I was looking at the comment. Mystery arm just came into frame out of nowhere. Oh, really? Yeah. A mystery arm. Yeah, be resolved in a different way. They can't be resolved like this. Nothing. You. There it is. So, oh. Um, <laughs> the, the petition was never granted. There. There will not. It should be have been me going like. <laughs> Fatner on the back. Your Honor. Oh, is she gonna cry and beg for things now? All right. So that will do it for today. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with her face. I just want to know where's the can of copper. I see that. You think they're both trying to get like control of dads? Damn, that woman's gone quick. Yeah, she was. The chair was still spinning from where she jumped out of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, or maybe in a lazy way, one of them should step up and take care of them. Then you get everything you need, right? Unless he's not as bad off as one says he's. I mean, one breast, she said he's fine. 
He's driving to Aunt Becky's house all the time. Right. And uh, in the other breath, she says they've cooked a pizza and not gave them any. Yeah. Um, ate, it, ate it right in front of them. You know, I don't know. A new love all. I've taken a new love all. I thought, I think he just shut her down. I thought she was going to start that shit with the crying and begging and pleading, but I guess not. I want to go back to my dad's house. I don't think we've heard the last of that. I checked her ass out there. I checked her ass checked out. Her ass out. Anybody else? Judge? Hello, Steve. Steve. Well, we got a second to see you back here, 405 East, for We Got a Chase today, Taco Tuesday. Right, uh, floor, floor. Yeah, and also, there's going to be a, a, a premiere at 3 p.m. That's an hour from now. Yes. Right. And, yeah. Uh, Ms. Ortiz Hernandez. Um, we'll be talking about murder. Murder? I'm not here before. I dismissed your case. Ah. <laughs> Awkward. There, it was a temporary order that was granted. But we did mail for the yeah. You just have to tell us that. So she will. So you, do, do you understand what I'm my saying? My coach says. Do you understand what's coming out uh, of well, my she mouth? She doesn't understand because she was given, uh, they, they served uh, Juan Pablo with a temporary restraining order. Juan Pablo. And so she was under the understanding that she had court this morning for that. Yes. Uh, she court, did. court was she at was nine o'clock. And oh. um, when I when I checked, uh, uh, Mr. Gutierrez was was here. We had the interpreters here for the hearing, but no, Ms. Flor Ortiz Hernandez was not here, so the petition was dismissed. Oh yeah, um, unfortunately, she was given a paper where they circled courtroom number two, which she has right here. So she's been sitting in courtroom two until we called. Okay. Let me do you have this falls under tough shit, I think. Yeah. Or maybe Juan I mean, Pablo. If they, if they made a mistake, I mean, uh, but I mean, he's already dismissed it. So yeah. Have, so. I mean, they're going not going to recall it today to then dismiss the uh, translator as well. And when you walked in, we offered you a map for a dollar and a uh, brochure with a bunch of information. You said, hell no. And uh, sorry, by, you're by lost. the way, if you get that map, hold on to it because we're switching to paperless maps. You'll just scan the yeah. QR code. You so the maps you have QR code though, because we're not going to lose the map money because we're broke, but you know. and buy a program when you're at our event as well. It's 10 bucks and it's basically a magazine of advertisements, but we'd appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, some I think great candid a, photos in between her initial yeah. um the initial uh hearing where she asked for the order in today's hearing. So um unfortunately I can't just unwind this. Um uh, Mr. Gutierrez Martinez was present and he was given notice that the petition was dismissed. So if Montoya you still want an order, you're gonna have to initiate a new petition. One okay. Pedro. In other words, Gutierrez. Um, and explain, you know, what the confusion was, so that we know, you know, why it is it's it's here again. Okay. All right. Yes. I will make sure so, she understands that. You may have to. Okay. Yeah. Stuff like that can happen sometimes. Self address stamp envelope confusion, but That's right. you know, we you can get the case going again. Okay. All right. Thank you. Right. Yeah, was that Juan Pablo that uh, the hit the dryer? <laughs> what a great story that was! All right, uh, some some strange court today. I will say that TPOs are always one of those things you never know what you're going to get, and well, it makes you feel kind of better about your life after you see some of these situations. That's a good point. Could be worse, is what they say. Uh, speaking of could be worse, one hour from now premiere over on Creedence and Mikey. Uh, Judge Stevens going to talk some murder stuff, and there's going to be a premiere, uh, happening at two thirty on We Got a Case, and one happening at five o'clock on We Got a Case. Go, Creed. That's a lot of uh, stuff. Oh, I, I was too. That was too. That was too <laughs> quick. I'll talk about it a little bit. More. Way too um, quick. Also, uh, don't forget if you're watching over on Creed and Mikey, 
go check out our merch at the merch store. Click the old thing. There's going to be some, uh, we got a case merch coming there very soon. The TPO Tuesday Express, Chris Woodbooger. Hope you're uh, better, man. You know, all that. I know it's not easy. Good. Well wishes. Pam, uh, I can't believe it's not Butterfield. Fletcher boy, mayor with some gifts. Jazzy girl, welcome. Maki Maki. Uh, mayor with some more gifts. And the one, the only, Grigsy. Let it be written in the books. Yesterday, Grigsy was first. Today, he's last. Yep. Will we keep shattering records? Who knows? Will different things happen tomorrow? Maybe. Well, those are all things you have to wait and find out. It's you're all right that you're late. Time. time. It's all oh. right. You're, you're just in time to watch it by yourself. Um, make sure you go back, watch some of the old episodes, leave a comment, hit the old like button. Those are all things that help us out more than anything. You don't need to give money, but you do need to give us some love, baby. Make sure you stay safe, stay hard, stay tuned, because you never know what we'll do next. Bye now. Uh, do we need to call go out and call for Anna? Is she lost in the hallways, maybe? Not my problem, pal. Well, that's true. Hope you find your way to we gotta chase Anna at 4.30.